Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 60. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the Class D post noughties Asian tour. We're going to be taking an Asian car. Uh, and this is going to be the Honda Civic. We're going all the way from A class to D class. Wow. Uh, starting off with uh, Suzuka West, Sakuba Full, Suzuka East, Twin Ring West, and then Sakuba Short. Suffocation, no breathing, don't give a fuck if I cut my arm bleeding. I love this song so much, it's so good. So yeah, Pandy, if you use that link uh, for Enerbird, that will uh, help the channel out. And for anyone watching on YouTube, Take a look in the description. Eniba. Great place for you to get uh, very cheap Steam keys, Xbox keys, PlayStation keys. Um, but if you are playing on PC, it is an amazing store for those. And it really does help support the channel as well. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. So, uh, a lot of people say that this is one of the ugliest, uh, Civics. Unpopular opinion, but I think this is one of the nicest Civics out there. I think it's really good. Um... I don't know what to say other than I think it's really good. It's better than that shit box they made in like 2016, 2015, whatever it was. That thing was hideous. I'm crying. I still can't believe I've crashed the car already. Bonk. Cut my life into pieces. What would it be right? Chances are dynamite. Losing my sight, losing my mind. Not bad. There, this way. <laughs> Do you know, I really miss, like, Muse used to make amazing songs, and now their newer stuff is just a bit, uh, but their older stuff, like, especially, like, the 2005s and 2006, whew, killer. 
is in bloom, the PR transmissions will resume. So come on! Another scene, another. <laughs> Pog. So come on! Come on! Nice. So come on! Fat cats had a heart attack, you know. <laughs> Such a good song. These races are getting much shorter, though, towards the later end of uh, this section. I think we're in semi-pro. I'm not sure. But this section, obviously, we started at the top of it. We've sort of gone left to right, top to bottom. But as we're going further top to bottom these races have been getting shorter in time which is kind of the opposite of what I was expecting I was expecting them to get longer you know but apparently not so come on oh the interior is very nice in this car look at that what a lovely interior. Hey. There is no uh, speedo dial, though. It's just the uh, numbers. So. Do you know the funny thing is, right? All these cars, they, they all run off of the internal game engine. So the number will constantly just update as soon as it updates in the game engine. Which is fair enough. But a real life car will only update every like two seconds its speed, so. Yeah, because cars are stupid. They do it deliberately though, actually. Car designers deliberately only update the screen every like half a second. It's a stupid thing, and I wish that they would stop doing it. Because it makes it more challenging to work out what your speed is at that given moment. Especially when cars are now getting much easier to, like, put your foot down and you go. That half a second can easily set you over the speed limit. Easily. In some cars, it even takes a second for it to update. It's just... It's kind of dangerous, actually. Car designers, stop it. You're stupid. 50% uh, discount on ignition upgrades by NGK and 50% discount on fuel system upgrades. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. Rem, 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 rem. So yeah, our acceleration isn't great in this car. To be fair, this car isn't great at all, so it's kind of a wonder how we're actually uh, winning races with this. Oh! Do 
Weaving back in. Let's see if we can get that draft again. Now that's how you take a corner. Three laps are out of seven. Not bad. When the wheels come down. This is one of my favourite Foo Fighters songs, but I don't think it was on a standard album. I think it was only on the uh, compilation album. I think it was like a special song they made. Like a one-off. Same with Word for Word. I think that was a special one as well. I love this song. It's so good. Get out the way! Yeah, it does seem like there are only three Japanese circuits in this entire game. Just Twin Ring, uh, Suzuka, and Sukuba. Which, I mean, I think there's more in the later ones. Maybe.
I do hope there's more tracks as we go through the games. When the wheels come down. Not bad. Keep it moving. There we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There we go. 50% uh, discount on differential upgrades by cars. Nice. All right. Here we go. Suzuka. Formula One's actually coming here this weekend. Uh, which is kind of interesting. But by the time this uh, video goes live, it would have been way past that. So... Woo um, well, there's a... I don't know what that is. Is that a mosquito? Okay. It's a bug. It's flying in my room, and I don't want it here. Not bad. Good first lap so far. Uh, we're looking at seven laps around this place as well. Shell. Quite a few sponsors on the uh, track here. I'm actually curious though. Are all these sponsors like what's on the actual track at the time? And they just put them in for... Um, gameplay sake I guess or do they actually just add their own sponsors like people that are paid Forza to have these in it'd be quite an interesting thing to find out because I mean I know for a fact the board that's on that ferris wheel definitely would have been changed from whatever was on there because I know for a fact Xbox 360 would not be advertised on the actual track there Bing, 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 bing.
of the south. Empty. Not bad. James Dean. There we go. Not enough. Not bad. So yeah, tomorrow I'll be uh, sorting out my Steam Deck waiting for this for so long and talking about it for months It's not enough. Yo, mates, what's up? Welcome, how are you today? Hello there. One more lap to go. Won't you be there? Oh. The way that this car, it, it, it grips surprisingly well through some of these corners. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, do some research, I think, into uh, that new AV1 encoding for Motorsport 4, see if I can get a little bit more quality out of it. I also think I need a new capture card, because I think my capture card is sort of limited to 20,000 kilobits a second. So even though I'm recording at 50, I don't think it matters how much I'm recording at. So I'm going to keep recording at 50,000. Um, but I'm going to get a new capture card, hopefully after Motorsport 4. Maybe after Motorsport 3, who knows. That has a higher bitrate. Woo! Alright, here we go. So, for anyone watching on YouTube, uh, it is a new day. We got halfway through uh, recording this episode uh, before I went. Uh, solely because I had family to turn up. So, 
Felt like ending the stream a little earlier that day. Yes, VTech baby. Uh, but also, my uh, Steam Deck has arrived. The Steam Deck arrived uh, last night during the stream, so I ended the stream. Um, and yeah. I'll probably leave it till the next episode. This, For anyone watching on Twitch, this will make no sense, but if you're watching on YouTube, this is for you. Uh, I'll probably leave it to the next episode. Um, where I give, like, some thoughts about the Steam Deck, but it's it's a cracking bit of kit. It's a cracking bit of kit. What is this uh, banana advert that you're on about, though, Zeno? Stupid banana advert. I, I want to see this banana ad. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. It's a guy wearing a banana and it just goes banana na na. <laughs> That's all I can think of with that. Banana na na. Banana na na. I think that's a Kaiser Chief song, isn't it? Absolute tune. Baby. The night is young. Now can I be a plus 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 be a plus one? Watch you. By the way, how is the uh, music sounding? Is it too quiet, too loud? Let me know so I can adjust it accordingly. Plus one. Music is just fine. That is good. So one thing that I hate about OBS, um, and specifically its audio mixer, is the fact that wherever the audio level is on OBS, it just is not correct. You can't rely on the visual, visual cues that uh, the audio mixer gives you. Like, oh look, these two audio files, when I play them at the same time, OBS says it looks like it's a similar volume, but no, one is significantly louder than the other. It's so annoying. But at least the music is good. Uh, so today we're going to finish this, um, this championship that we were halfway through. And then we're also going to do four more championships. Um, so that we end up doing like being halfway because mathematic I've worked it out at this point um, if I do sort of six videos over the last two streams uh, when we finish the next section which only has 30 races in or 30 events we'll actually finish that section slap bang at the end of the stream as long as we keep doing four per uh, stream. So the maths is all adding up, which is good. Makes my life a lot easier. What's your thoughts on Need for Speed Unbound now that it's been officially announced? Um. Oh shit, corner cut. I'm really excited for it, actually. I was always excited because I knew it's going to be Criterion plus uh, Codemasters Cheshire that's been absorbed into uh, Criterion now. But obviously, Codemasters Cheshire were very known for making... Um, what is it? Onrush, which I enjoyed. I know it was a questionable title. But obviously, as well as developing Onrush, they made... Drive Club, uh, Motorstorm, the original WRC games for the PS2. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I think we've got good developers this time. Like, we've got a good studio now that's assisting with making this Need for Speed game. So, 
there is a bonus there. The music choice seems to be good. I, th I thought the music really suited the trailer, so I'm hoping that the actual game soundtrack will suit as well. Um... As for the car list, I saw the Bugatti Chirons in the game, so I'm excited for that. That's going to be a fun one to uh, piss about with. Um, but yeah. So far, they haven't shown too much, so... There's not really any way that I can be hyped up about it, and I think the only time that I will actually get hyped up It's, um, so it's not Battlefield engine, it's Frostbite. So Frostbite is EA's own engine, which is used for uh, Need for Speed, FIFA, Battlefield. So it it's the same engine, but it's not the Battlefield engine. It's a multi-purpose engine, sort of like Unreal. Uh, but it is terrible. The Frostbite engine is terrible compared to like Unreal 5, Unreal 4. Um, that does have me a bit concerned, I'll be honest, because every Frostbite game, stuff like uh, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, Heat, Payback, they're all locked to 60 FPS on PC, so I'm hoping that now that Codemasters is getting involved, they might unlock the frame limit and make it like more than 60 FPS. I would like to play Need for Speed at 120. 120 is like the sweet spot for racing games. Uh, we now have a 30% discount on valves and displacement. Woohoo! Yeah, I agree with you on that. More gameplay footage is needed. We need more gameplay footage. But yeah, it, like, obviously EA owns two engines. They own the Frostbite and they own the Ego engine. Ego is the one that Codemasters has, but obviously Codemasters is owned by EA now. I don't see why they can't just give Need for Speed the Ego engine and let Need for Speed run off the Ego engine as well. That's what I... I, I don't get that. It's not a gameplay trailer if it's not focused on gameplay. I think whatever is more of 50% is what it should be. So if it's a cinematic trailer where it's got a lot of cinematics, and it more than 50% of the game is cinematics, then it's a cinematic trailer. If more than 50% of it is actual gameplay, then it's a gameplay trailer. That was not a gameplay trailer, what they showed off. That's why I was so confused, because people were like, oh, have you seen the gameplay trailer? And I was like, what, is there another one? Because there was literally little to no gameplay that they actually showed off. And then I found out later, no, it's the same one. It's just been called Gameplay Trailer, which is just wrong. <laughs> but I think about a month before the game launches, we'll probably see some gameplay going out because EA likes to give creators the games about a month early. We've seen it with F1 22 that creators were getting the game a month early. Even sometimes two months early, this time. Unpopular opinion, but I think the anime effects that they've got in this game look awesome. Um, yeah, I think they look awesome, to be honest. Um... I don't know, I, I think I would like a way to turn them off, so that if I'm doing like cinematics and stuff like that, because obviously the anime style stuff won't look realistic, but at the same time, I think maybe for one need for speed, maybe we can have something that's just completely detached from realism. Because, I mean, he and all them have been quite realistic. But when you look at Hot Pursuit, for example, that's a lot less realistic in terms of its physics and stuff like that. So, who knows?
yeah, that's fair enough. But then, would being able to turn off all of those effects make it a bit overpowered? Like, if you could just turn off the stuff that distracts most people, would that make you faster? You know, it's... I don't know. I mean, to be fair, everyone would have the opportunity to do that, so... I still don't get, though, why EA will do EA Play, let everyone have early access to the game for 10 hours, right? And then they'll do early access for people who pay for the extra. But the only difference is that EA Play people can still join the games as part of that early access because it's still the EA Play early access. I think it's a bit weird how they do it. I think it should be a week before the game releases, you get the first wave of early access, the people who bought the game. Like, say for example, the premium edition, then the EA Play early access, like three days before, and then the full game completely release, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to playing it, to be honest. I want to know your name. You just killed me. Could you at least do that? Hey, yeah. I still can't believe I have had my PC for over a year now. It's crazy. I think I can now officially say I am a member of PC Master Race. I have been using it for long enough. <laughs> Talking about Need for Speed, we get the fucking menu music from Hot Pursuit playing in the background. Um, yeah. I would like to see the servers working well, but... I just want single player to be good. I'm not someone who really cares about multiplayer. Like, I'll hop in with a couple of mates and piss about, but that is just it. It's piss about. It's not competitive or anything. I want them to focus on single player. If the servers are a little bit laggy and whatnot, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. Surprisingly though, it doesn't have to be where it is. Where the longevity of the game is. It doesn't have to be in multiplayer. It's just all developers think that's the easiest way to do it. And sure, it's a way that you can rely on people to keep the game going for. But single player is the best way to keep a game going. If you can keep the game running on its own. It's like when games release DLC content. People come back to the game. You know. Not bad. That is us done with this one. Not too bad. 
the little blur. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.